It's a little cold. Okay. Not sure if you were aware of that or not. I say like battery wasn't plugged in either. I just unplugged that. Oh, okay. One more try. <laughs> One more try. Okay, yeah, snort of ether. Hit this. Go. <laughs> What is up you guys it is your boy John here from Puma Plow welcome back to another on the farm today we are going to be working in the garden some more we were fairly happy with the way it, the small tractor was able to work the garden but we can do so much more with the big tractor so I'm getting the 995 ready to go with the disc and the drag harrow behind so we'll be putting the disc on the tractor and then hooking the drag harrow behind it it's going to be a whole thing and uh, you guys will get to come along for the ride with the head mount gopro so let's do this so the first thing i have to do is get this poo trailer out of the way get it parked out here in the grass for the day the dead wintry grass that it is It is February 7th, 2017, and it's about 60 degrees out here right now. It is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous out here today. Like I said, about 65 degrees. Not complaining at all. It's a little chilly though with the wind. If you guys can even hear me, the wind is pretty bad today. Another day down here at the farm. The wind's always bad. All right, so the next step here is to take our three-point hitch to trailer ball adapter off of the tractor. Of course, we're going to be using the three-point hitch to lift the disc. The three-point hitch disc. So we will set this back here. It does weigh a pound or two, by the way. I'm not just grunting for no reason. <laughs> Kick the trailer block out of the way, and we need to move this piece of rail. Let's see if we go out this way with it. Should be good. It's a little piece of uh, train track rail. Don't know how or why, but we got some of them laying around the farm. So this is our three-point hitch Ford Flex disc. We have changed the three-point hitch up drastically since we bought it. It was a Category One. Now we're on Cat Two and uh, made it rigid instead of flexible and put notch disc blades on the front we took all the scrapers off 
uh, repainted the whole thing last year turned out pretty good so let's get this bad boy hooked up definitely have the tractor in low gear as I'm backing in and uh, usually about right here even go ahead and pop it into low slow especially if there's another person uh, helping me which as you can see today there's not And yes, that was the first try. No editing. First try. Picked it up. I'm going to take it outside and get it adjusted just a little bit. And then get our hair on the back. Normally to do this next step, I would leave the tractor running. Of course, it is a diesel. It's better for it to stay running. But I want to be able to talk to you guys at the same time. So, tractor has to get turned off. No big deal no big deal okay so what we're really after here is to run our gangs almost straight on we really don't want to be doing too much with this part other than making just a smidge of loose dirt so that would be the last hole you can see it doesn't line up at all so what i think i'm going to do is do it right here right like that so that when I'm going, you can see that front rail is straight and that's almost straight on. I'm gonna do the same thing with the back gang as well. We really don't wanna do a lot with the disc. We just wanna kinda of fluff it up just a little bit and get just a little bit of loose dirt. Like I said, we were fairly happy with the way the small tractor worked the garden up, but there's still some areas that need some more work. So we figured as nice as it is out here right now that we would be fools not to do this. So we actually that doesn't work. I need to go farther back. We would be fools not to be working outside today. So I'm taking all advantage full advantage of the weather and going to work out here today. Will that line up? Over the years, this thing has, uh, I don't know, it doesn't quite line up anymore like it should. Okay, that one will work there. I need to move that one yet. So the problem is your stabilizer arm there needs to be, needs to be on that piece of angle iron right there, my shadow, shadow of my finger there. So I need to make sure the fronts are as well. See, that's there, and that's not far enough. Put it back to here. That stabilizer arm is still on, so we're good there. Definitely want to make sure that stabilizer arm is still on. This thing is incredibly oily, greasy. Uh, every time we use it, we go ahead and oil it and put it away. Now, this time we're probably not going to oil it before we put it away. Because A, the dirt's really dry. And B, we're going to be using it again throughout the spring. We uh, kind of feel like we don't necessarily need to be cleaning the disc before we put it away. So we're going to leave it dirty and uh, that will be all right. I'm getting a phone call from some random number. I'm not going to answer that. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, so to put the harrow on, I need a clevis. First thing, and a hitch pin, which I believe I have in the handy dandy toolbox here. Which I believe, clevis. And a hitch pin that goes through, it would be nice. There we go. A hitch pin. And I'd put a safety fan in there if I had one this through there that'll work it is a good idea to run safety pins all oh, that wind that'll go through there like that it is a good idea to run safeties when possible you never know when your hitch pin can come out you really don't want that to happen uh, I really don't want the hitch pin to come out what's up rabbit see the rabbit back there guys that's Maurice from the other video a couple weeks ago now. 
What's up, Maurice? I'll leave you alone. You're good. You're good. You fertilized the yard for us. You're fine. See, they hide in here because there's too many predators down here. You got uh, hawks and uh, and all kinds of stuff. Coyotes. All that kind of stuff down here for them. So they hang out in the shed all day. Most of the day, anyway. All right. You guys have been watching for a while. You've seen this before. This is the old evener pipe. Hook up two two sections of harrow behind this bad boy, and to pull them down the road, or in our case, the garden right now. And actually, yet today, I will be pulling these down the road. I'm gonna work on our mile long gravel road just a little bit as well today. Clevis, I don't really have enough room to make this work right. There we go. Pin. And then because safety is a consideration, of course, we'll go ahead and drop a safety in there as well. And I've never had a problem with a hitch pin on something like this, but. You never know, you might as well take safety precautions. And, uh, you know what they say, if it's worth doing, it's worth what we're doing. So, there you go. All right, now we need our two sections of arrow. And I have this one laying here from the other day. And, uh, gotta take my little chain off that I put on the other day. So you guys can tell, the other day, the garden was wet. A lot drier now. A lot drier now. So we shouldn't have any issues here. Alright, get this safety off of here. Alright. Not how much you guys can see right now, but hey, what is? I was hoping to get the drone up today. Get me some drone footage of uh, working in the garden here, but. I don't think I'm going to try. It's not bad on this side of the shed. As soon as I turn the corner, it's brutal. Just brutal. And actually, the farmers are out front right now. Working on the ground out there. That uh, They had that irrigation line put in. They uh, Actually, you know what? We can... Yeah, I've got some footage of the the wellhead out there but um yeah they're out there smoothing that dirt back today so hoping to get some drone footage of that they're out there loading grain today hauling corn hoping to get some drone footage of that and we might try the drone later on i don't know for right now she's gonna stay in the truck okay so we need to walk this over here this thing is nasty it's dirty so much dirt on this thing. But hey, that's a harrow, that's what you're made for, right? Okay. Oh man. Things suck when they're this dirty. You get all dirty, you might as well. Okay. Let it crash. Well, that actually was good because it got some of the dirt off. Letting it crash onto the pipe like that. All right. So these just go on with these big old hooks. Just like so. No safeties there. <laughs> this worked for Grandpa. It'll work for me, right? Oh. My theory in life, anyway. I'm gonna set it up just a little bit. Go about mid range there or so. Usually, want to count from here in in the fourth hole. Count from one under the other, doesn't matter. But if you count, then you know when you're setting your second one where you need to be. This kind of works. 
Kind of works like it. All right. I wouldn't even care to guess how old these harrows are, by the way. Probably been on this farm since my dad was. My bad dad's been on this farm. I don't know. He'll let me know. They're old. But you know what? They still work. <laughs> we did rehab them a couple years ago, kind of a little bit. Put all these washers, new cotter keys on them. And did something else. Oh, welded some of the bolts back in the center there. Okay, now I just need to set this one in the fourth hole to match that one. Four, twist the lock, and away we go. Like it never even happened. <laughs> Whoopsie. It's got a little close. No big deal. This is working quite well. The garden, the dirt's still just a smidge wet. But overall, I would say this is working quite well. Got the disc a little deep right now, too, but that's another story.